Well, hello friends, welcome back. So, uh, as a reminder, if you are beginner and you haven't done any coding, and these are like small uh, exercise or uh, a small uh, Java problem, and it, it, it's fun. So, uh, uh, let's do it. So, today we have a problem, Java problem, with uh, we have to print 1 to 10 in a descending order and it's like 10, 9, 8 and until 1. So earlier I told uh, that's what we are going to doing and um, uh, basically I'm writing in the main method uh, so just a reminder uh, it's under that class and I'm writing in the main method okay so let's start so once again we're going to start with the for loop and I equal to now you guys tell me like what going to be starting point since it's a descending it's not ascending right so what going to be i is equal to 10 because we start from 10 so so here i is equal to 10 semicolon and it should be int not i okay now i is less than or greater than because it's a descending remember that's the reason we have to do greater than or equal to one and i minus minus because we are uh, doing in a descending order not ascending order and system dot out dot printlet This is descending, and this is kind of concave. We are combining a string with the integer, and we're going to print i. And we have to add a semicolon after this. Then, if we're going to run, and as you can see, our number print like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 once again it's a reminder uh, it start from here so first that's uh, that's the number one step basically it start from 10 if 10 is greater than 1 yes it's greater than 1 then it's going to be printed then it's become a 9 because it's decrement so it's decrement it becomes 9 once again is checked with the 1 and yes 9 is a uh, uh, <clears throat> basically greater than 1 it's print now it's decrement once again 8 until 1 and that's how that's going to be work uh, again if you don't know about i minus minus you can use i is equal to i minus 1 it's the same thing so and it's going to be given same result and 10 9 8 7 until this one so uh, whatever you preferable uh, use that one now we're going to use a for loop so I'm going to comment out and for comment uh, you use a control and slash uh, in a while loop we have to declare first so int i equal to that's our starting point what going to be our starting point that's a 10 we always remember and always talk uh, to ourselves and that's how we remember and in the next line I'm going to say while and now in parenthesis I have to uh, provide a uh, condition until what time it's going to be done until i is greater than or equal to 1 right until that is going to be done and now in a brace and we're going to copy paste this one and don't forget to decrement otherwise your loop will never end so here I can say i minus minus and which is same as uh, i is equal to i minus 1 and now we're going to run and it's the same result so start with the 10 9 8 so it depends um, so I prefer for loop uh, but if you comfortable uh, at least try with the both 
uh, and if you have time definitely try with both so you never know uh, uh, when you needed a while loop also so uh, please practice those things and I have a homework for you guys so now the homework would be uh, print 1 to 20 in a descending order we printed 1 to 10 and as soon as you're done with that one uh, print odd number uh, 1 to 20 uh, also uh, print uh, even number which start with the 2 to 20 and both should be in descending order and hope you like my video if you like please share and subscribe and if you don't like please uh, dislike button all right thank you